Project Samson takes place uh, in the near future. Today we were looking at a game called Project Samson, which is about disaster preparedness. The game starts out at the beginning of this event in the year 2043 when all of a sudden these disasters are starting to hit us. And you'll see the disasters are represented on the map and we're going to be flying a ship around the world. This is going to reduce my uh, M values, so my slope. This is an algebra refresher course to make sure that they all know their algebra before they go into pre-calculus. Each part of the game has equations of lines in it. The emphasis is really on how can you use the equation to help you get better at the game and to rescue all these cities from disasters. Every time you click it, you reduce your ship power by 10%. We went to the game designers and said, we want, and we gave them this long list of math, we want your game to do this math. They really ran with it and did a super job, and what we mostly did was say, yes, that sounds fun. Yes, that sounds like it will convey the math. Or no, that's not what I meant about the math that I wanted to convey. Traditional teaching and learning, we understand there are some limitations because the student cannot immerse their self into an environment. Using the game to teach the concept, this is a great idea to have. We have another game called Exponum, which is a very beautiful puzzle game. And it's about shooting gems and collecting gems based on various graphs. Instead of just only manipulating X's and Y's and having no idea what any of it means, it's now connected to a picture. The third game is called Algebots, and that's also a puzzle game, and that's also these little guys that help you solve equations, and when you get the equation right, they all go, yay, which is really sweet. It's a lot of fun. It allows the students to concentrate a lot better on the math itself. Really quickly, the fun interweaves with the math, and math becomes more fun. Now we're at the stage where we have working products and we're beta testing it with this first pilot uh, over the summer, and we'll continue to use them and refine them over the fall and spring. Well, by the end of the NSF program, we're going to have reached hundreds of students with these games, but then when the program is over, we will reach thousands of students with the games. These are all very playable games, so we hope to have them on the Apple Store um, for free and given out to people in high schools and community colleges all over the United States.